that if she is the most beautiful girl in the world, but she is available and accessible to lots, lots of men, and she's disloyal to you, there, it, it, she loses her value because she makes you look like an idiot and she makes herself look accessible. So without that loyalty factor, and loyalty doesn't just mean she's not sleeping with other men, loyalty also means she's not exposing herself to other men. Girls know when they don't deserve a quality man. So when a guy comes in and he's nice and he treats her well, he's a gentleman, all this shit, and she treats him poorly, and that is her behaving like, damn, this guy's really nice. I don't deserve this kind of fucking treatment because I'm a whore. I've made bad decisions in the past. I don't deserve this motherfucker. So what does she do? She treats you poorly. Typically, if a girl has come from a good household, had a good father in her life, taught her morals, taught her how men are supposed to fucking treat her, she treats those guys well and gives positive reinforcement to good treatment from a man. But when a girl gives you negative reinforcement for good treatment for you as a man, that's how you know she's a fucking slut because she wasn't Bruh. taught properly how to behave and how to appreciate positive masculinity. Are you friend zoning him? Yeah, we're just gonna go out as friends from. Okay, now so on. you're turning him down because he split the bill. Yeah. But, okay, so you do have an issue if a guy wants to split the bill. Yeah. Why? I just think traditionally, like, a man should pay on the first day. You're not a traditional woman. I think I'm quite traditional in my own ways. You, you do OnlyFans. There's nothing. I, look, I. I have OnlyFans girls on the show. I'm, I'm fine with it. However, you're not a traditional woman. I think I'm pretty traditional outside of Are you a virgin? Fans. You said your body count, and look, I'm not shaming you, but your body count's 16, right? Yeah. A traditional woman's a virgin. Well, I disagree. That's not my definition of traditional. How would you feel if one of your women had a body count like yours or was... I wouldn't have dated her in the first what place. If she, what if you didn't You know? wouldn't date her in the no, first I wouldn't have, place. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, she would never have come on my radar in the first place. What did they... No, I'm seriously. Like, like, no equal standards no, no, seriously. Here. No, no. The reality isn't equal. Perfect. You can... Okay. Tell me how many 18-year-old men are getting invited onto yachts and are invited to the, the club's tables and shit. Zero of them, but it's full of pretty young girls. That shit ain't fair either. So the moment you try to, you start fixing that, cool, then I'll take that comment seriously. Are but until then, yelling? it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Money attracts women, absolutely, but it attracts disloyal women. Money only attracts disloyal women. If you're an old man with lots of money and you're overweight and this, that and the other, but you're getting lots of girls, you're not getting girls. You're getting girls, you're getting investors, people who want to get money out of you. That's what you're getting. But money only attracts emotionally unavailable women. But looks or even like character or charisma or uh, comedy, all of these things actually attracts connection. A uh, man that makes $90,000 a year or a sugar daddy gives you $20,000 a month, pick one. Oh, a sugar daddy. Okay. What about you? I think sugar daddy. Damn. Okay. Wait, can you repeat the question? I sugar daddy that gives you $20,000 a month or a husband that makes $90,000 a year? A husband? It depends on like how old you are. So like in my 20s, definitely the sugar daddy. But once I hit 30s, like I need a husband. <laughs> uh, well, right now then. Right now at this point in your life. Sugar daddy. You'll take the sugar. Oh, shit. Okay. What about you? Me too. The sugar daddy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What about you? The sugar daddy 20k <laughs> definitely, month? Definitely sugar daddy. The sugar daddy 20k yeah. per month. Okay. What about sugar you? daddy. Okay. Sugar daddy. My last relationship, we broke up because he asked me to marry him. But then he asked me to sign a prenuptial agreement. And I said, absolutely not. I think that's bogus. I'm not gonna sign a piece of paper that says that if you leave me, I get nothing. Like, no, I think that I should have half of everything that you've worked your entire life for. And I think that's fair.